I'm going to show you how to do some uh, part view drawings for your puzzle cube. Now, a lot of puzzle cube parts are different, um, so these are just some basic examples. You're going to be doing some adding, maybe some subtracting of some areas. So I'll start with this yellow piece, and then I'll try and do this blue piece for you. Um, the big thing is you want to pick your front view and work from there. So if you have your orthographic drawings all done, that'll be super helpful. Go ahead and grab those. So we're going to start with a new drawing and a standard in inches. Go ahead and hit create. And what I'm going to do is hit the 2D on our XY plane and use our line tool to give a basic outline of what we're doing. All right, go ahead and use some constraints. We want to make everything at right angles. We want to make some lines the same. All right, let's go ahead and make some dimensions. So this, we want 0.75. So one cube is, we're going to call just uh, 0.75. They're going to be a little bit different when we take our dial caliper and we measure them out. Now you can do this bottom one. Oh, nope, we're all done. Okay. 0.75. Okay, cool. We can finish the sketch, back up a little bit, and extrude it. And again, it's a cube. Each piece is a cube, so 0.75 by 0.75 by 0.75. And then I'm going to create a new sketch by left-clicking on here and going to Create Sketch. I want to project my geometry. And I want to take my rectangle, and there's going to be a part right on top of there. So you can see it's 0.75 by 0.75. And then I'm going to finish the sketch and extrude this part, 0.75. And we've got a piece that looks just like our yellow one, except we want to change the color. So if we go up here to this appearance one, and you type in yellow and double click on the yellow that you want all right so I'm going to hit cancel it shows up there now I'm going to highlight by left clicking and dragging and now just go ahead and double click it and you can see it turns yellow we can close that all up make sure you go to file save as and call it yellow part in your initials Okay, remember to hit save. Now I've already done this, so I get a little error message. Okay, let's do the um, blue part. Hey, okay, blue part looks just like an H. So I'm going to go to new. I'm going to go to standard and create. Go ahead and do it again. Create a 2D sketch on our XY plane. And now I'm going to take some lines and I'm going to create what looks like an H. All right. Now let's take that perpendicular constraint. All right. And we want some of these lines to be equal. All right, so I'm going to do, remember your front view tells you the most detail and the longest dimension. So the longest dimension is right here. So you can use this as a calculator. So I'm going to say 0.75 times 3 and hit enter, and it gives us the height. So this right here is also 0.75. This right here is 0.75. So, um, and then I want to go 
here to here. Say it ain't so, Joe. Oh, I'm sorry, this is wrong. This is 0.75 times 2. There we go. And then this is 0.75. There we go. Now it looks good. Hit finish sketch. Extrude it. 0.75. And then we want to make the color blue. Click it, highlight it all, double click it, changes blue, save it, save as, call it blue part SP, hit save. I've already created mine, and then finally, when you get all your parts done, go to your schoolwork. And there is an assignment there that says Puzzle Cube Part Files, and hit this to attach all part files. Some of you might have five, some might have six. Please upload all the part files there. Thanks.